Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. Today we are at JJ, Jimmy John's, to try the new limited time sub sandwich, and that is called the new All American Beefy Crunch. Now, this sandwich, uh, once I read the ingredients for you, you might think they might be trying to emulate another place's famous sandwich. So here you go. It is hand-sliced roast beef, sliced American cheese. I believe this is the first time Jimmy John's is offering American cheese in any of their sandwiches. I think before this it was provolone was your only, your only cheese choice, but they did have like shredded mozzarella for one of the limited time sandwiches before. Deliciously tangy Thousand Island sauce. Crispy onion strings, pickles, lettuce, and regular onion. So if you haven't figured it out by now, what I think they're trying to do is emulate some kind of Big Mac-like flavor. You know, other places have had similar sandwiches where it's based around this Thousand Island type sauce dressing. But... Uh, <clears throat> As the song for the Big Mac goes, you have two all-beef patties. Well, this you have uh, hand-sliced roast beef. So there's your beef. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, Thousand Island. Lettuce pickles, there's lettuce pickles on onion on here. Uh, cheese, American cheese. They have a sesame seed bun. This, of course, has the Jimmy John's French bread. They didn't change the bread for this one. Um, but they did add their crispy onion strings. So it's not like a one for one, but you could see how uh, this definitely was an inspiration. Here's what it looks like. I got it just as it comes. All the lettuce shreds, um, the crispy onion straws. You know, it looks like that. And a whole bunch of sauce on the other side. More sauce, more crispy onions, pickles. Um, if you've seen any of my previous reviews of the new limited time offerings from Jimmy John's, you'll know that I have pretty much been a fan of everything they've come out with uh, so far. I'm hoping that it continues today. Let's go ahead and taste. Big, big back vibes. It's not like a, just like the ingredients, it's not a one to one. Um, if you took a bite of this, you might think you're taking a bite of a Big Mac situation. Because first and foremost, it's a cold sandwich. If someone handed you a cold Big Mac, you might not uh, be too happy. But this one is meant to be cold. It's a cold sub sandwich. The second biggest difference is probably the meat. Um, again, because temperature, but ground burger and sliced roast beef, they have Slightly different like flavor profiles and textures and whatnot. Um, not to say that's bad at all. In fact, I rather enjoy this. The tangy Thousand Island on here. I would also say. It's a little bit sweeter um, in flavor 
then a, a Big Mac special sauce. The little crispy onion pieces adds two things. Of course, it adds like this crispy crunch, but it also adds this uh, oniony sweetness. You know, when you have cooked onions, that caramelized onion sweetness, you get that in here as well. <clears throat> um, I like the pickles. Um, like I said, I ordered this as it comes uh i would say if i was to order this again for me personally i would ask them to put extra pickles on there but that's also how i order my big mac so it's just my preference of how i like it uh your uh, opinions may differ Overall, I do enjoy the sandwich. I think it ventures into the cool and slightly unusual. When you try to emulate a hot sandwich and a cold sandwich, that could be a bit unusual. But it's good. I give it one and a half thumbs up. Uh, just because. Even though I like this one, I, I prefer some of the ones I've had before, like the blue cheese one was really good, the horseradish sauce. That's the one I think about uh, in my mind right now. So um, I know there was like two or three other ones that I tried, but that's really the one that my mind always goes back to, probably because that was the best limited time sandwich I had with that, that uh, beefy blue, something like that. And horseradish sauce, blue cheese really really good in my opinion but this one's not bad i like it if i were ordered again i definitely get more pickles on it but i wanted to make sure i tasted it just the way they made it anyway if you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.